Hey everyone, it's even bigger Jono. I'm just gonna have, go ahead and fall off that straight away. Um, welcome back to more Crash Warp. Last time we got a lot done in the fourth warp room. In this video, I did say we'd start on uh, level 28 in the sixth warp room. Now that that's opened up for us, as you can see, area 51, we do get a gem for defeating the aliens in this and uh, getting all the boxes and also a relic. So let's see if we can actually get all three at the same time. That'd be pretty cool. I've only ever done that once, but if we can do that right now, that'd be amazing. Very hard though, because there are something like 50, 24 boxes. And um, yeah, but let's see if we can do it. Let's go ahead. Even if we don't, we'll probably come first to get the relic anyway. And we can just come back in, in here and get the box gem. That doesn't really matter to me, but I want to see if I can at least do it. Watch me only get Sapphire though, like I'm going to scream if I get Sapphire. Okay. Oh. The thing is you can't really see that far ahead of you in this, so the boxes do kind of come out of nowhere, which is kind of crap, but what can you do? Alright, you stay there. So yeah, this is a very interesting level. As you can see, it's dark. Uh, it's very, very dark, actually. Uh, you can't see a thing. And you're racing aliens, not cars. <laughs> um, that's why it's called Area 51, question mark. You know, Area 51? Uh, couple of stoppages right there. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, we're going okay so far, I think. Uh, this level's kind of weird. As you can see, it's a bit of a bizarre, bizarre level. Uh, and it's very annoying. So, I hope we get gold, though. That'd be amazing if we get gold. If not, then we'll just come back in here and get the relic. But, but yes. Honestly, I don't, I don't mind this level so much, but it, it is kind of a weird level. Like... These aliens annoy the crap out of me. I'm trying to come first here, but these guys are just... Get out of my... Dude! Oh. What do you want, you alien bastard? Alright, let's just smash through. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Not good. Alright, here we go. Go! Go! Oh no, we're not going to come first. Oh well, we got the jam at least. Ah, give me gold, please. So that is embarrassing. <laughs> oh, do I even want to put my name in? Oh, all right, well, we're going to come back in here anyway and go for first and the gold relic, which will be easier this time now that I don't have to worry about the box gem. Oh man, that's, that's awful, what the hell. All right, well, let's let's try that again. Come on. Let's do this. Like I said, it is kind of difficult doing it all on the first run uh, because you got to worry about the boxes and they kind of come out of nowhere in there, so. All right, now we can go for first and the gold relic, which will probably be a lot easier because you know you got to get a good time and you got to come first, so we don't need to worry about getting the boxes. We just got to worry about getting these time stoppages. Honestly, I probably could have got gold. I think gold is a minute 48, so. If it weren't for these alien bastards, we probably could have got it, so... Alright, let's try that again. We'll try this again, I should say. Smash these aliens this time. You want, you're gonna want to get all the stoppages that you can, obviously. Um, Yeah, so that way, you know, you give yourself the best chance. And plus, getting the arrows is good too. Honestly, I probably should have done the time trial this separately to get the gem, but whatever. I don't really care. Well, I do care, but... Ah! Just get... get out of my way. Well. Alright, so we're in fourth place now, so it's not too bad, I guess. The one thing I hate about this level is you cannot see a thing. Constantly getting screwed like that. As if the cops can't see them, what the hell? Oh man, what are they, blind? I don't know. Alright, so we're in second now, so we're not too far away from first place, which is nice. You can actually see first place up ahead. Alright, let's 
stoppage box here. Very handy. Even though it is only one second. It is one second that's less that you gotta go for, I guess, is what I'm trying to say here. I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about anymore. And we're getting dangerously close to the end time, so... Get out of my way, thank you. Alright, so... Minute 44 should be about the time we get. Oh, did I miss all three of those? Oh no, I didn't. Thank God for that. Alright, that's actually a pretty good time. Minute 45, I'm very happy with that. And we do get the gem for going first, and there is our gold relic. Okay, that actually beats my previous best time. I don't even know what my actual best time is in this is, though, because that'll be on the, my PS3, not on this emulator. Uh, so, yeah, that's that's good. We got the relic and the gem, so that's Area 51. Area 51 completed. Very nice. That also gives us 16 relics, so we need four more relics to unlock level... Well, level 29 is Future Frenzy, which is a secret passage to Future Frenzy, which is what we need to get both those boxes in Future Frenzy. But anyway, we're going to go ahead now and finish off what's left of Warp Room 4, which is just this here, level 18, Tell No Tales. We can get the crystal and gem in this, or obviously you can get the crystal, we can get the gem in this too, so we're going to go for that. Alright. Let's do this. This is the second of two uh, ski levels. Oh, sorry. Second of four in chronological order, uh, but this is the last one that we'll be doing because we've done all the other ones. We've done we've done hot cocoa, we've done ski crazed. Uh, hate these levels a lot, but what can you do? All right, the gem is uh, kind of it's kind of a tricky gem actually because there are several paths that are where like the paths diverge a little bit, and you kind of get a little bit confused sometimes. Well, I do, but people who haven't played this might. Um, yeah, there are some areas where the boxes are kind of like, what the hell? Um, but yeah, otherwise it's a fairly straightforward level. Very similar to um, the first ski level, which was making waves. There's a box in here that you're going to want to get. There are two guys in boats going around this island, so I'm going to wait for him to go past. And we'll come out behind him. There's another box here. Zoom out of there, and that's that. Oh crap. Nearly ran into that bomb. Alright. Oh, what? I missed that, seriously? Uh... There we go. Okay. Now I can continue. Uh, these bombs annoy me, seriously. Like, I, always, I always get such bad cycles with these bombs. I really do. Alright, so not going too badly. Not going too badly. God, that was a checkpoint, because I really needed that. Alright, now there's an area, com area coming up here where you're going to want to uh, get on this, get this box here first. Actually, we'll get both these boxes here first. Uh, that's... Uh, anyway, you're going to want to head over this way here. Oh wait, where am I going? Yeah, follow this here. And then, because there are some secret boxes over here that people miss quite often when they do this level. So, oh crap, I went the wrong way. <laughs> um, yeah, you're going to want to come around this side of the boat here. Oh, what? There are bombs here. What is happening? I can't see a thing. The camera in this level is so bad! <laughs> oh, the camera in this level just drives me crazy. Oh, man. Alright, let's try that again. Like I said, we're going to get the boxes here first, and then we'll go over there and get the boxes. Get off the box. Stupid seagull. Alright, let's get that there, and then we'll come over here. Secret boxes over here. Okay, so we're back to where we went. Alright, yeah, I hate the camera in this level. I really do. I hate it so much. And I hate it that... What?! Is that... Is this a joke? What... What the hell? Sometimes I hate this game. Just how it does things like that. Uh, don't even think about it. Alright. If the bird lands in the box, it kills you, which is weird. Like, you die to a seagull. Like, are you serious? Um, yeah, death by seagull. That's one of the most bizarre thing ever. 
Alright, take three, let's try this again. There is just a dude in the boat there, yeah. He's being thrown overboard. Alright, we got around at that time, cool. Alright, and the fifth box here. There we go, alright, now we can continue on with the level. And I hope to God that there is a checkpoint soon because I'm in desperate need of one. I think there is, just up ahead actually. Alright, let's watch these bomb bombs go by. Boom, alright. Ah! <laughs> that was so close to that guy anchoring me to hell. Alright, there is the crystal. Just get around this pirate dude here. Go! I'm gonna get this checkpoint first, and then I'll go back and get that box, because I don't trust myself. Alright. Okay, so we're not too far away from the end now. We only need seven more boxes, and two of them are just here. One, oh wait, no, just one of them, okay. Guess I was El Incorrecto. Okay, there's two there. So we need four more boxes. And that was very close to that dude just smashing me again. Okay, and that's that. That'll give us a gem. We've got the crystal. And there's a life at the end waiting for us. Just fabulous. Alright, so that's all the crystals that are in the fourth warp room, which means we can go ahead and take on Engine now, who's the boss of this warp room. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. I don't know why Coco walked away for because it's her that takes on Engine. Yes, she takes on the boss. Amazing. So, you want to go a few rounds? When this is over, we'll see who's absolutely. Okay. <laughs> I love Engine so much. Anyway, this is very similar to his Fight and Crash 2, except you're fighting in space this time. You gotta press circle and fire at. The things when he opens them up, let's just... Blah. It's kind of a shame you can't hear his music in this, because I really, really like uh, his theme song in this. It's a really good theme song. Oh, man. Right, come on, open up. Open up, brother. Alright, yeah, uh, as you can see, his, his uh, health and all that kind of stuff is very similar to... Crash Bandicoot 2, he has 5 here, but he does get a second shot at you this time. 4, he only had uh, 1 machine, but now he has 2. Uh, it's kind of annoying, but it's whatever. He's pretty he's pretty easy, though. I've done this 20 times without actually taking any damage, so... Alright, so he's uh, firing missiles at us, which come out of yellow thing. I've got to call it pink for some reason. This yellow thing in the center. Alright. Pure joins us for some extra power! Uh, anyway, I think he has 8 lives, this is 7 lives this time around. Oh crap, I actually took damage, wow. Uh, those things have a lot of hit points, so I'm gonna try and see if I can blow this thing up here first. Oh crap. Uh, actually, let's blow this thing up here. I don't want those things flying at me. Ah oh, man, I hate the way this level moves though, like, this makes anything so and the fact that there's so many things firing at you you just have no idea what the hell is going on half the time oh man all right let's what are you doing oh no don't freeze now what the hell is this all right we're, we're back i think uh i don't know what the hell's wrong with this computer lately like this is being weird um anyway let's see if we can finish beating engine and then we'll call it quits for this video done to be honest um yeah, honestly, this 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 thing cho chooses the best time to just crash randomly. You know what really bothers me? Like, this computer in, like, s s like spectacle-wise, it's really good. Like, it's a Core i7, 16 gigs of RAM, 2 terabyte hard drive. It's actually a, a, a SSHD. Like, it's a hy hybrid hard drive, and, and then it just does this. Like, thanks, thanks for computer. Anyway, we're close to defeating engine here, as you can see. Alright, he's got two health, two points left. Come on, open up, what the hell is this? Alright, thank you. Ah, oh, are you serious? 
Alright, one to go, just this one here. And come on. There we go. And we get the bazooka power up, which is really cool. Uh, to fire fruit at a target, hold L2, we'll hold the L2 button. To raise gun, aim with directional buttons, then press circle button to fire. Really cool. So I really like this weapon a lot. Otherwise, like, it's really funny because, like, in speedruns, they're pretty much useless. It's funny how history repeats itself. Yet again, engine has failed to defeat you. Wah! Oh, this we must destroy you! Oh, my aching head. I'm not feeling myself these days. So, the end is in sight. Gather another five crystals, and again, you will have foiled my plan. Uh, no. So, yeah, we only have five more crystals to go, but like I said, there is still a fair few relics and gems that we also need to collect after we actually beat him, so... Well, mostly relics. We'll probably have most of the gems, I'd say. But anyway, next time on Crash Bandicoot Warped, we'll start on the fifth warp room. See you guys then.